Set to go with our main event of the evening. Jerron Ennis, a guy to watch. And he's fighting a very confident guy in Armando Alvarez. Amateur experience, and it's only 61 amateur fights, but he just missed making the 2016 U.S. Olympic team, losing two out of three to Gary Antoine Russell. And only 30 amateur fights for Alvarez. He was pitching in high school, not fighting. Pro right experience. Hands right over the top, sorry. And pro experience, and it's a lot of fights for a fighter who turned pro in April 2016. So far, it looks like Ennis' speed is giving Alvarez a lot of problems. Yeah. That's, uh, how do you prepare for that, Raul? I mean, you, 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 you've never seen a guy that's this quick. How do you get ready for that? Well, when you, with a guy that's fast, you don't punch with him, and you got to push him back. That's uh, Alvarez's game plan. He said he's going to put pressure for 10 rounds, but he's going to throw his jab, go behind the jab, and put, keep his hands up, block a lot of his shots, and keep coming forward, and work the body. Hit him in the arms, hit him on the shoulders, work the body. Don't worry about head shots. He's not going to hit him in the head shots early. Speed kills, you know, but you got to break him down. you got to break him down. Sorry. The, the, the more he waits, that's what's going to happen. That's the result. Can't afford to wait. And is fighting southpaw, as we said he would. And let's keep in mind that uh, Alvarez has never fought a southpaw as a pro. See, they're, they're yelling at him over here to put pressure. Uh, and Alvarez is a corner. He has to close the range and put pressure, make it an inside fight, and keep the fight in the center of the ring. I, I just can't help but think back to when we saw Devin Haney, who's another bright prospect, very much like Ennis. Yeah. And he fought Mason Menard, who we've seen a few times. And Menard told us after the fight, he said, I just couldn't keep up with the speed. I just exactly. had no idea how to deal with it. And I just kind of see the same thing right here. I agree, the speed factor. And it's one thing when you see a fighter, you're standing a fighter, you're watching film on it. Ah, he doesn't look that fast. Maybe he is fast, but you're really not going to know how fast he is until you get in the ring. And that's what always happens. And speed can change the opponent's game plan. All of a sudden, when you get hit with enough counters, maybe you're not as aggressive as you want to be. Yeah, and that is exactly what it looks like right here in this first round. You really have to be an elite level fighter to break down a guy that has more speed than you. Kind of like the great Travis Senior used to do it. That was a you know, he, would, he would break you down and cut off the ring and work the body and work the body. By the third or fourth round, he have you gassed up? You don't want that? Oh, give me that one. Boom. Keep jabbing, man. Stop playing. Stop playing. Keep jabbing, jab, jabbing, and going to go to the body. Grip to the body. Every time you jab, he's trying to count it with the right hand. You know what to do. Let's start with the body. Grip the body. Yo, he felt you go punch. Now, if you want to, you know what to do sometimes. Get what do they need to do to win the fight? Here first, Jerron Ennis. Use my jab, uh, use my angles, turning, and pivoting. If, if he's coming forward, if, he, if he's coming forward, just pivoting, turning, using my angles, up and down with the jab, touching that body, breaking him down slow, and staying slick and sharp. Oh, to the body. I I I love the body. Uh, I love. You can call me the body snatcher if you want. Uh, we're going to the body, and if the head is it's 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 not there, we're still going to the body. No matter what round it is, we're going to the body. Round number two, Alvarez unable to go to the body in round one. Yeah, yeah only three connects to the body where Ennis had ten. He's got the right idea, no matter what, go to the body. Keep going to the body. He's got to, break, he's got to wear him down. He's got to tire him. Look at his body shots. Shot, body shots I was talking about. Ennis. Yeah, Ennis is a really good yeah. body punch. The other thing that Ennis, in what we've seen, uh, what Ennis does really well, as good as anybody, is finish. If he gets you hurt, you got a problem. He's fighting out of his southpaw stance now. But he likes to switch. You don't know when he switches. I think you can see what I was talking about at the opening of the show, the, the presence Ennis has in the ring. He just seems so comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, like it's, 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 it's home for him. Yeah. It's, it's his office. 
Been home since he's a little kid. He just got him with a big, nice big uppercut. Up yeah. yeah. Now they're digging to the body a little bit. Alvarez needs to make it. A, he needs to make it that kind of a fight, a dog fight, an ugly fight. That left hand partially caught on the gloves. That one wasn't. Step back, step back. Keep telling him to throw to the body. Alvarez is his corner, throw to the body. It looks like Ennis is doing the body work. Yeah. And you know, normally with a rangy fighter like Alvarez, you say he has to stay on the outside. Rose right, the uglier the fight, the better, and he needs to be inside to make it ugly. Couple of really good kind of right hands from Ennis in that last exchange. Alvarez tries to go to the body here. Give it up for Alvarez, he's trying. Yeah, he is. Oh, good body shot. That's and that big that backs Alvarez up. That clearly hurt it. That, that was the left hook to the midsection that I was talking That's about. That's what you said. Yes, That's Raul. it. You saw that. And an uppercut from Ennis. He's going to keep doing it again. Look off his. He pivots off his angles, off his footwork. Just missed with that right hand. And is trying a little too hard to land that one huge shot. Yeah. You see him over punching with his right hand. He's having fun, though. Yeah, he is. Good body shot again for Menace. And the look on Alvarez's face tells you all you need to know when he gets hit with those body shots. Yeah. Almost spits the mouthpiece out. And then body shots are, are killing him. Yeah. Yeah. What a combination for the head. That is starting to open up. How about that nifty move? He's having a good time in there. He's got the goods. There's no question about it. He's got the instincts and the speed, yeah. Uh oh, now he's having a little bit too much too fun. Much. <laughs> too much fun, but that's his style. No, 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 you're losing control. You got to throw. You have to throw. In round two, well, it wasn't all Ennis, but a lot of it was. There's a beautiful right uppercut. That's the single highlight for Alvarez so far. Later in the round, watch the body work of Ennis. He's fighting a tall guy. That looked like it might have been partially blocked. The right hand wasn't. And then Ennis playing around. He's keeping this peripheral vision on Alvarez there. Don't let that look to the side fool you. Too early in the fight to be playing that much, I think. Yeah, I agree with you. Round three. And he's still playing. You all right? You want to continue? Back. Got a big welt under his left eye. There's another shot. Drives him across the ring. Ennis now looks to close the deal. This is the time to go to the body for Ennis. Try to just. How's that balance? Pretty good, huh? Out, He's got all the goods. Is, uh, is Alvarez cut under the left eye? Yeah, he, and, and a welt. Yeah. Oh. Another good shot. Solid there. Like the way you chopping right hand missed. Alvarez is in trouble. Left hand. This is not going to go far. Body shot a little short. Alvarez in retreat. The gap in talent and natural ability here is just yeah. huge. Left hook to the body. Barry. And that just dropped him to a knee. A little Same. bit of a delayed left reaction. Again. I love it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do you want to continue? Have you had enough? Do you want to go? Mm -hmm. All right. Fox. He wants to go. Tough dude, man. Yeah, he is a tough dude. Showing a lot of heart. Showing a lot of left hand from Ennis. Ennis misses with that left hand. Still more than a minute to go. A jab and a right hand. The left hand. 
And that's two, it. Should be it. Three, yeah, that should be four, it. Five, six, seven, eight. You all right? Yeah. Are you sure? No. Right. And get up again, and still 50 seconds to go in the round. I'm losing count to the knockdowns. I think that was three, right? Obviously, Is no there a three, three knockdowns. Oh, there's not a three knockdowns? Hey, hey, are you okay? You okay? But if he goes down one, one more time, you can be sure referee's going to stop. Yes, it. as he should. Another combination, two okay, shots to the body. Back, back, both of you guys. Keep it clean, keep it clean, please. And it's more effective to the body because he's so precise with his left hand to the body. Now he turns back to the right hand to the stand. Got away from the right hand from Alvarez. Alvarez still trying. Good shot to the body again, chopping right hand. Alvarez in trouble again, his hands drop. And he goes to an knee, and that's it. That's it is over. Four knockdowns. And it's came and conquered and did it pretty easily. Now America knows what Philadelphia has known for a while. Yep, yep. And, and you and I know we, we went and saw him in his last fight. We happened to be in Atlantic City for another one. And, uh, went and saw him and came away really impressed. And we can't wait to see him. And now we've seen him. Yep. Well, it was the toughest guy he has faced so far, at least on paper. And he was 15-0 coming in here. It was a step up, Barry, a, a small step up in the big scheme of things. This fight won't be remembered that much if Ennis goes on to be what we think he can be, but it was a small step up, and more importantly, it was national TV exposure for a fighter who hadn't had any up until this point. You know, he was fighting for the family name, too. His brothers both fought on Showbox, Farah and... Uh, Past success. And the numbers that we'll see, I'm sure, will be a bit lopsided. Yeah, 46% of Ennis's power shots, four knockdowns included there. Alvarez is only 16%, and uh, the body shots. That's, to, that's really technically what makes Ennis so special to me, the body punching. All right, let's make it all official now. We go once more to the center of the ring and our ring announcer, Thomas Triber. Thomas? Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 59 seconds of round number three. Our referee in charge, Adam Pollock, waves off the contest. Therefore, your winner by way of technical knockout, still undefeated, and now the WBC, USNBC, silver welterweight champion, Jerron Boots Ennis. <laughs>